what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? After news broke that Viacom has severed ties with Nick Cannon over what they deemed anti-Semitic remarks, Diddy reached out and offered Nick action at his Revolt TV. Diddy said, the only way we can change the narrative, educate and uplift each other, is if we do it together. Nick, my brother, I am here to support you fully in any way you need. What we're not going to do is turn our backs on our brothers and sisters when they challenge the system. Come home to Revolt TV, which is truly black owned. We got your back and love you and what you have done for the culture, Diddy added. What y'all think about that, fam? Y'all think it's gonna hold up? Think the offer gonna hold up? That's a power play right there. Get dropped by Viacom the biggest game in town, move over to Revolt, an upcoming, an upcoming player in the game, take a powerful entity. It's not just a show, wild and out, wild and out. It's, a, it's an institution. You take an institution over to Revolt, yeah, I can see Viacom fighting hard as hell to hold on to the rights of Wilding Out. I don't know why that wasn't sorted out already, but Nick Cannon made reference that he wants complete ownership of that brand that he created, and he deserves it. Wilding Out is Nick Cannon. I can't even see anybody else in the role. He, he, he do it better than anybody. I can't see not one other person stepping in there and making that thing work the way it does. He's held it together. He's created a billion dollar franchise. You know? So, yeah. Uh, yeah, he deserves ownership. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with you, Nick. I'm with you, baby boy. I'm with you. Um, here's the deal. So, the question is, like, what did Nick say? Professor Griff was being interviewed by Nick. And, you know, anytime you get Professor Griff on your show, get ready. Because if you don't take it there, he's going to take it there. And if you want to take it there, he is going to encourage you. Take it there. During the interview, Nick mentioned several conspiracy theories about the Rothschild family. What did Nick say? I'm glad you asked. It's never hate speech. You can't be anti-Semitic when we are the Semitic people, when we are the same people who they want to be. That's our birthright. We are the true Hebrews. So, uh, for those of you who may not be up on game, maybe you're like wondering, what is Nick talking about? Well, what is Semitic? Let's go to that first and foremost. Let's break it down. What does Semitic mean? Relating to or denoting a family of languages that include Hebrew, Arabic, Aramaic, and certain ancient languages such as Phoenician and Akkadian constituting the main subgroup of the Afro-Asiatic family. Afro-Asiatic family. Hmm. Okay. Relating to or denoting a family of languages spoken in, that would be the Middle East and North Africa. Who is from North Africa? Middle East. What Nick is basically trying to say is, if I'm black and I use the N-word, how you gonna call me anti-black? Because all groups have certain words. 
that they use within their language, within their group. And it may be a dis disparaging term, but at the same time, it may not be. And people use them, use those terms in different ways. But it would be hard to call a black person who uses the N-word a racist or uh, anti-black. It would be hard to call a white person who uses the C-word anti-white or a Mexican who uses the S-word as anti-Mexican. You get what I'm saying? Or an Asian person who uses the C-word, anti-Asian. Nick is going back to the roots. He's saying that we, black people, are the original Semitics. So how can he be anti-Semitic? How can he be anti-Semitic if he's Semitic? Perhaps he just got a situation where some people just don't like how he was talking. And what's crazy is that you can use any word you want to to disparage black folks. Say whatever you want to say. And hardly anybody, especially outside of the black group, have anything to say about it. Well, what do y'all think, fam? Y'all think Nick crossed the line? Y'all think he was, he went too far? Or you think that Viacom is being bullies and they're trying to control the black man and what the black man has to say? You know what? If only the people who Nick put on over the last several years, especially since he's been on Wild and Out, were to support him, he'd have more than enough support to have his demands met from Viacom. He put on a lot of people who got a lot of money and a lot of followers, a huge fan base. He could come out on top. But like Puff said, you got to do it together. Got to do it together. I've only seen maybe three, four, five celebrities actually show support publicly. Now, there could be more. Like say, hey, man, we with you. We got your back. We know you're not a bad person. We know you're not anti-Semitic. We know you don't hate other people. You were speaking what you knew to be the truth. Now here's the thing. He has an offer from a black owned media company. The question is, if he inks a deal with Diddy, will you watch? Will you watch like you did when he was on MTV and VH1? Will you go out of your way to subscribe? It's a good show. I went out of my way to subscribe to Stars. I know it's not black on, I don't think it is, but I want to watch that power real bad. And I subscribe to the channel strictly for power. I don't watch nothing else on that channel. But I watch power. If you go to Revolt, I'll make sure I'm watching. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?